What's up guys, Ryan XR here, and I'm here to show you how I make Starbucks quality iced coffee. So, let's go check it out. Alright, well, I'm coming over here to Katron, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I use, what kind of coffee, what kind of ingredients, and I'm going to show you the exact measurements. So, maybe you can try this out if you want to. Alright, well, let's get to it. Alright, to start off, I got my sugar. I don't like to use a whole bunch, because sugar's bad for you. Um, I use Terrani French Vanilla Syrup. It is also another sugar, but I do not use a lot of it. Um, that's my fresh brew coffee. The coffee I use is Sumatra. It's an extra bold um, roasted coffee. It's really good. There's my um, uh, Grande uh, plastic Starbucks cup and my measuring cup. Now let's see. I'm going to take my measuring cup right here. Move this out of the way. Don't need that. Now, I'm going to pour half sixteenths of an ounce. Sixteen ounces, but almost halfway to it. So, that should be good. Now, one thing I forgot to bring out is my coffee creamer. Um, I use International Delights Caramel Macchiato because it is a delicious flavor. Now, I fill it up about... Uh, the rest of the half to the 16 ounces and this is a tad bit more alright now that that's good for now now after that I don't stir it up anything yet I get my sugar out take about that much sugar it's not very much I mean that's a little bit more than what I put but still it's fine and I put that in close the sugar up now this the syrup I just eyeball it I don't put too much I don't put too less I just put a little bit in and that should be good just not even a shot worth alright now that we got that I mix it up really good so the sugar dissolves and everything gets mixed in real well sit there for a second and then I take my beautiful tasty well worth the money Starbucks cup stir it around a little bit more make sure I get all the sugar dissolved because I want all that sweetness I like mine a little sweet and I like a bitter aftertaste so this is what it'll taste like and remember the coffee I use is extra bold so I just take it and just pour it in I like to go high up sometimes, let's get the air flowing through it. And it's just enough, just enough to fill it to the brim. Put the lid on it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Made a little mess. Clean that up. And then I drink it. So I hope you like this video. I hope to help you out make a good cup of coffee. And see you on the next one.